There's nothing like him in this world. The moment you can compare God to anything in this world, he's not God. So. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my channel, my brothers and sisters. In today's video, I will be reacting to Dr. Zakir Naik. This video is called A Chinese Ask Why Does Not Allah Show Himself in Islam? This is very interesting. Many non Muslims wonder about this and actually they don't believe in God because they can't see him so let's see what Dr. Zakir Naik has to say about this Bismillah Actually uh, this is my uh, question from my friends a non-Muslim uh, uh, she asked me this question but I cannot answer it <laughs> okay uh, question is why uh, Allah uh, our God not show itself like another region God like uh, she's a uh, God uh, she is a uh, Chinese uh, she know the physical of their gods and she's know about the power of their gods so why uh, Allah not show itself thank you Was asked a question that one of his non-Muslim friends, she asked him the question that why doesn't Allah, the God in Islam, show himself? Like in other religions, they can see God. Why don't you? Why can't we see the God of Allah in Islam? The reason, in, the reason is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Islam is the true Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If he shows himself, you will not be able to live. It's so powerful. And the example we have in the Quran in Surah Taha, then Musa alayhi salam says, Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I want to see you. So Allah says, I will show my glimpse to the mountain. You look what happens to the mountain. So when Musa alayhi salam turns his head to the mountain, Allah shows his glimpse to the mountain and Musa alayhi salam faints. That is the power of Allah. It's so powerful that we human beings in this stage, we cannot see. And the definition of Allah is given in Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4, which says, Qul huwallahu ahad. Say it Allah one and only. Allah samad. Allah the absolute eternal. Lam yilid wa lam yulad. He begets not nor is he begotten. Wa lam yakul lahu kufuan ad. There's nothing like him in this world. The moment you can compare God to anything in this world, he's not God. So any other That's religious so people true. say this is God, the moment you can compare God to anything in this world, he is not a true God. That's this is so the four line definition so of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of so Almighty good. God. Any human being, whichever God he or she worships, if that God fulfills this four line definition, we agree that entity to be true God. Otherwise, it's not a true God. Say he's Allah one and only. Allah the absolute eternal. He begets not noise begotten. Walam yukul and let me ask you a question which is the highest reward that you can think you can get brother where's the questioner where's the questioner gone where did you go can you stand brother yes correct yes i'm right you are i'm right Brother, which is the highest reward you can get? Highest reward <laughs> that a Muslim can get? Jannah. Right? Is there anything higher than Jannah? No. Yes? Someone said yes? Yes? Is there anything higher than Jannah? Sing Allah, right? Just tell the answer, no? Is there anything higher than Jannah? Yes. Tell, what is it? Uh, see Allah, uh, the Jannah. Higher than Jannah is Jannah the Firdos. Higher than Jannah the Firdos is Jannah the Firdos al Allah. And the highest is seeing the face of Allah, the Vaj of Allah. We as human beings cannot see the Vaj, the face of Allah in this form. But when we go to Jannah, everyone in Jannah will not see the face of Allah. Only those who are in Jannah the Firdos or Jannah the Firdos al Allah, close to the Prophet, 
Allah will not show his face always. We would urge, we would desire to see his face. So the highest reward that any Muslim or any human being can get, Jannah is a high reward but not the highest. Jannah is the high but not highest. It is seeing the face of Allah, the wajah of Allah. So tell your non-Muslim friend that if they follow the criteria of Surah Al-Asr, have Iman, have righteous deed, exhort people to truth, exhort people to perseverance, she will go to Jannah, inshallah. But she has to follow the rules of the Quran. And if she goes to Quran, if she goes to the higher level of Jannah, if she enters, she will be able to see the face of Jannah. We eh, will be able to see the face of Allah. Every human being will not see only those who receive the highest award in the next life, in the year after. Hope that answers the question, brother. Brother, do you want to see the face of Allah or not? Do you want to see the face of Allah or not? Ah, Alhamdulillah. Inshallah. We pray to Allah that may put all of us in Jannah, in Jannah the Firdos, in Jannah the Firdos al Allah, and we see the face of Allah, Inshallah. Mm. <laughs> it's crazy that people in this world wants to see Allah when not even people who go to Jannah not even everyone there can see the face of Allah. So, is really asking a lot. See the face of Allah in this world. That's like, like impossible. And obviously it's because this world is built for us as a test to see if we will believe in Allah. Obviously, if Allah would show himself, there would be no test. It's like if you are in a classroom, if you are taking an exam, the teacher will not just show you the answer. Obviously, Allah is not going to show himself in this world. And you have to earn it. You have to earn because that's the best thing. Like he said, like Dr. Zaki Naik said, that's the best thing that you can get as a Muslim is seeing the face of Allah. <sighs> SubhanAllah. I can't even imagine. Like, only Jannah is already so much that Allah is giving us. Only that is already so much. We can't even ask for more than that. But Allah still gives us more and still rewards us more than just Jannah and that is seeing Allah's face like <sighs> SubhanAllah I can't explain how happy I would be if if I could see the face of Allah and I know that that is something that I have to earn, inshallah. So let's hope and pray that that will be us. I love these kind of videos that make you just want to do better. Just, you know, it really encourages me to just think about my life, like really think like, this life is temporary and if you want to be successful in this life and in hereafter then you have to follow Islam and you have to follow Quran and you have to do the things that are meant for you to do and that is commandments from God so yeah I really am thinking a lot about this thank you all for watching this video Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Assalamu alaikum.